Asteroid Spectral Types, Wikipedia Article Audio An asteroid spectral type is assigned to asteroids based on their emission spectrum, color, and sometimes albedo. These types are thought to correspond to an asteroid surface composition. For small bodies that are not internally differentiated, the surface and internal compositions are presumably similar, while large bodies such as Ceres and Vesta are known to have internal structure. Over the years, there has been a number of surveys that resulted in a set of different taxonomic systems such as the Thalen, Smas and Bus Demio classification. In 1973, astronomers Clark R. Chapman, David Morrison, and Ben Zellner developed a simple taxonomic system for asteroids based on color, albedo, and spectral shape. The three categories were labeled C for dark carbonaceous objects, S for stony objects, and U for those that did not fit into either C or S. This basic division of asteroid spectra has since been expanded and clarified. A number of classification schemes are currently in existence, and while they strive to retain some mutual consistency, Quite a few asteroids are sorted into different classes depending on the particular scheme. This is due to the use of different criteria for each approach. The two most widely used classifications are described below. The Small Solar System Objects Spectroscopic Survey observed 820 asteroids, using the former SO-152 meter telescope at La Silla Observatory during 1996 to 2001. This survey applied both the Thalen and Bus Benzel taxonomy to the observed objects, many of which had previously not been classified. For the Thalen like classification, the survey introduced a new CAA type, which shows a broad absorption band associated indicating an aqueous alteration of the body's surface. The CAA class corresponds to Thalen C type and to the SMAS hydrated CH type, and was assigned to 106 bodies or 13% of the surveyed objects. In addition, S3OS2 uses the K-class for both classification schemes, a type which does not exist in the original Thalen taxonomy. The Bus Demio classification is an asteroid taxonomic system designed by Francesca Demio, S.J. Bobby Bus and Stephen M. Sliven in 2009. It is based on reflectance spectrum characteristics for 371 asteroids measured over the wavelength 045-245 micrometers. This system of 24 classes introduces a new SV type and is based upon a principal component analysis, in accordance with the SMAS taxonomy, which itself is based upon the Thalen classification. The most widely used taxonomy for over a decade has been that of David J. Thalen, first proposed in 1984. This classification was developed from broadband spectra obtained during the 8-color asteroid survey in the 1980s, in combination with albedo measurements. The original formulation was based on 978 asteroids. The Thalen scheme includes 14 types with the majority of asteroids falling into one of three broad categories, and several smaller types. The types are, with their largest exemplars in parenthesis. The Thalen taxonomy may encompass up to four letters. The classification scheme uses the letter I for inconsistent spectral data, and should not be confused with a spectral type. An example is the Themistian asteroid 515 Athalia, which, at the time of classification was inconsistent, as the body's spectrum and albedo was that of a stony and carbonaceous asteroid, respectively. When the underlying numerical color analysis was ambiguous, objects were assigned two or three types rather than just one, whereby the sequence of types reflects the order of increasing numerical standard deviation, with the best fitting spectral type mentioned first. The Thalen taxonomy also has additional notations, appended to the spectral type. The letter U is a qualifying flag, used for asteroids with an unusual spectrum, that falls far from the determined cluster center in the numerical analysis. The notation, and, are appended when the spectral data is noisy or very noisy, respectively. For example, the Mars Crosser 1747 writes as an O, class, which means that it is an A-type asteroid, though with an unusual and noisy spectrum. This is a more recent taxonomy introduced by American astronomers Shell Bus and Richard Benzel in 2002, based on the Small Main Belt Asteroid Spectroscopic Survey of 1,447 asteroids. This survey produced spectra of a far higher resolution than ECHIS, and was able to resolve a variety of narrow spectral features. However, a somewhat smaller range of wavelengths was observed. Also, 
albedos were not considered. Attempting to keep to the Thalan taxonomy as much as possible given the differing data, asteroids were sorted into the 26 types given below. As for the Thalan taxonomy, the majority of bodies fall into the three broad C, S, and X categories, with a few unusual bodies categorized into several smaller types. A significant number of small asteroids were found to fall in the Q, R, and V types, which were represented by only a single body in the Thalan scheme. In the Bus and Benzel Smash scheme only a single type was assigned to any particular asteroid. The characterization of an asteroid includes the measurement of its color indices derived from a photometric system. This is done by measuring the object's brightness through a set of different, wavelength-specific filters, so-called pass bands. In the UBV photometric system, which is also used to characterize distant objects in addition to classical asteroids, the three basic filters are In an observation, the brightness of an object is measured twice through a different filter. The resulting difference in magnitude is called the color index. For asteroids, the UBRBV color indices are the most common ones. In addition, the VR, VI and RI indices, where the photometric letters stand for visible, red and infrared, are also used. A photometric sequence such as VRBI can be obtained from observations within a few minutes. These classification schemes are expected to be refined and are replaced as further research progresses. However, for now the spectral classification based on the two above course resolution spectroscopic surveys from the 1990s is still the standard. Scientists have been unable to agree on a better taxonomic system, largely due to the difficulty of obtaining detailed measurements consistently for a large sample of asteroids. Some groupings of asteroids have been correlated with meteorite types.